Hi, myself Dr. Vivek Shashindran and today we would be continuing our talk on thyroid swellings. In the last few videos we did talk about common thyroid disorders, the clinical symptoms, the presentation, the investigations and obviously we did touch upon thyroid surgery in detail. Now what I would like to say is that there are a few subset of patients who can have incidentally detected, detected thyroid nodules or sometimes you do have these young girls being brought by the parents saying that the girl has a swelling in the neck and most of the times it is just a very prominent thyroid gland which could be usually physiological which is usually seen as girls mature or they get into their adolescence now however you can have patients who present with nodules and in spite of detailed evaluation, you may not be able to pick up anything relevant. In the sense, the ultrasonography just shows a benign nodule, nothing alarming. The FNAC reports are again normal. And now the issue here with these subset of patients is that you could generally keep them on a wait and watch policy. In the sense, active surveillance, periodic follow-up. So yearly ultrasound scan to see if there are any significant changes in the size of the nodule or if there are any significant change in the characteristics of that nodule, which could probably alter your line of management. But however, most of these patients generally would require long-term follow-up. But the issue in our population is that compliance is a big factor. So many a times the patients don't turn up and you would probably see them many years down the lane coming back with a huge swelling which probably could even have turned malignant. So if the patient is compliant, if the patient can understand what the concept of periodic or regular follow-up is, then wait and watch is a pretty good option in benign asymptomatic thyroid nodules. Thank you.